Hello and welcome to Seville, welcome to the Estadio Benito Via Marin. I'm Derek Gray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Real Betis and they face Cadiz. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's the starting 11 for Real Betis. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, no surprise really, they're matching up here but there are many different ways they can approach this game and I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on. And the contest begins. Mark Rocca. Hector Bellerin. Isco has it. Well, it was a foul, but good use of... Well, a bit naughty, that challenge, so early in the contest. Interesting to see what the referee's going to do about it. Well, a clear and early statement of intent from the referee. It's a booking, Stuart. Well, the referee has made it absolutely clear he's not going to mess around here. Determined defending. Ruben Alcaraz. Marisco well, is a player who usually brings those special qualities to a game. Stuart, what do you enjoy about his football? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players, he can go past people with ease, and he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. There it is! The first goal in the derby! A special moment! Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. Is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Negredo. He went in so dangerously with that tackle. Now the referee is the man everyone's looking at. Well, he has been dismissed and it was going so well. Well, that's going to make it interesting now. He just put his team under pressure here.
Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So back underway, one goal apiece here. A Jose Perez. Carcelen. And stuffing out the danger. William. He scored! Well, what an opportunity squandered. Far too easy for the keeper. But he could run onto it here. Miranda Isco passing it around looking for the goal that would put them ahead nice and easy for the keeper Ruben Alcaraz Alex Fernandez. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Plenty of support here. Has eyes for goal! Well, you've got to classify that as a poor attempt. A long way wide. Read it superbly to take back possession. Bayerin. Very quick thinking there. And that'll be a Betis throw in. Well, there you have it. The hosts have had so much of the possession, but unless they find some inspiration from somewhere, I'm not sure where the winner will come from. They certainly need to up the tempo. Well, looking to put the ball to good use here. And the cross smuggled away. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Let's see if something comes of this. Oh, now, will it be a red card? Well, just a yellow card, and you can see what they think of that decision, Stuart. Well, did he stop a goal-scoring opportunity? I'm with the referee. I'm not sure it was clear-cut. Disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. Rodriguez. 
Isco has it. Isco. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Well, he can consider himself admonished, even in the absence of a yellow card. If you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Negredo and in possession, Fernandez. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? And with that, the first half action comes to an end here at the Estadio Benito Villamarín. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equaliser, you can see why he's so important to this team. Hopefully they can get more of the ball to him in the second half so he can show us his ability. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Pretty good challenge. There's a slide rule pass. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Isco. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. Well, he took care of it defensively. Well, they're certainly getting closer. You just sense that the goal is coming. They're playing so well at the moment. Yes, so near indeed. But now they've got to concentrate on keeping their defensive shape. Well, a wasted opportunity. It would have been a decent chance, but offside the decision. Well, the referee remaining very much in control. Now the card, and it's yellow. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. William. And return to Isco. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Counter attacking very much an option. Alex Fernandez. Can he convert? Well, it wasn't a taxing save. Support available. And offside it is. And time for the change now. They've lost it. 
Fede. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Well, disappointing end to the move. Miranda. That's a well struck pass. Pedzella. This is looking threatening. Can they forge ahead? No! Chance missed! And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Time for a change then. Ivan Alejo. Negredo. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. And a goal! Well, against all the odds, they hit the front. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, but how is he allowed that much time and space? He doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. Alex Fernandez. It has gone over the touch line for what will be a throw in. So a personnel change then. Luis Hernandez. possibilities inside the box not the best clearance and problem solved for now and the referee sees that as a foul free kick given Holding the ball up here, waiting for others to arrive. What a pass that lacks quality. Well, he could run onto it here. Big chance! And it's in! The equaliser! A goal to change the equation and stun the crowd! Well, here we can see it again, and it starts with the ball over the top. Perfectly weighted, and then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So the ball is running again at 2 all. Rodriguez. Now with Perez. Luis Felipe. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Oh, he's given the ball away. Perez. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Can they grab the lead late on? A fine reading of the situation. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. And he has options available. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that. And it was close. Well, his skill level is so high. You're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley.
Jo Bellerin. Isco has it. Borja Iglesias. And back to Perez. Can he put them in front? A goal! And it might just be the one that wins them the derby. He doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. Blows for full time, it ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, I suppose we shouldn't be surprised. A typically strong performance from Nabil Fekir. Sum up his contribution for us. Well, he was the best player on the pitch today. His movement, skill and work rate were excellent. And of course, what a time to come up with the goal.